I'd like to uh, give you an overview of the information management maturity measurement initiative undertaken by the Public Records Office in Victoria. First, one of the key components of this initiative has been the development of the IM3, the Information Management Maturity Model, survey and reporting tool. The tool manages and me measures uh, IM maturity. Uh, as part of that, we identify the strengths and weaknesses in information management, prioritize areas of information uh, management in the organization that needs attention, links to relevant whole of government documents, standards and guidelines, not just record keeping, and assist in setting goals for information management capability and skills development. One of the things is designed with all of the standards and guidelines, records management, information management, and information security in mind, but it is not a compliance checklist. Use of the tool can have significant be benefits for the organization. It provides the capability to develop an information management baseline for the organization, business unit, or sections. It supports the ability to identify information management initiatives to improve capabilities of the organization. And it encourages the development of a roadmap that can form part of the IM strategy. We will go through a case study of an example agencies to show how the IM3 can be applied. Let's look at the product in a, in a bit more detail first. There are four characteristics of information management to be identified, which will be identified and assessed and reported on. People involved in the testing focus groups identified information management as a complex intersection of people's capability and capacity, organization organizational shape and structure, information life cycle and quality requirements, and business systems and processes that con convey this information. It is the mix of these, the levels which they are undertaken at, and the quality that they are undertaking, that determines the information management capabilities within the agency. For each characteristic, there are a number of IM questions that drill down into the detail, detail areas of information management. There are 17 information management di dimensions that are covered. Um, I'd like to uh, cover an example agency here to show how the IM3 has been used to help them actually do a number of things in terms of managing their information management. One of the things about, as can be seen here on the, on the screen, is that it's very useful to establish a, a baseline for the information man management capabilities and then provide a mechanism for actually then seeing how things progress over a number of years. In this particular context, you see the agency running from 2013 all the way through to how they, where they want to, what they want to achieve by 2016. It is very useful to then see the progression as across the different dimensions and char characteristics of information management. It's a si simple and easy way to show progression uh, or not, as sometimes things can go backwards as we struggle to achieve our requirements. Uh, as within the context of the agency, there is another way of looking at the, uh, the list of information uh, management activities that are undertaken. It is key to, uh, to understand within the organization uh, what, <coughs> excuse me, what um, particular in initiatives can improve the information management uh, capability. And as you can see from this chart, it shows both 
business as usual initiatives and also specific initiatives to improve. As can be seen on the, on the screen, there are a number of areas which are not, are shown not to have, to have initiatives and the, this shows that, that it can show that gaps within the context of what we're doing so that it can help to identify areas that initiatives may well have to be uh, supported. There is another way of looking at this which can also be very useful. As can, seen, can be seen in this diagram, it shows the progression through the years for these particular information management areas. So it shows that some will need prioritization as can be seen on the business systems and processes where we'll see that the information architecture is going to take a lot of effort and resourcing to build it up to the formative level that the organization is looking to achieve. But it's very useful to show the actual progression and the actual amount of effort that's going to be required to improve these areas. What we've also done within the tool is actually pre present advice for the agency to be able to move on from one particular dimension and maturity um, by providing information that is useful to them in that particular characteristic. It's a, again a useful addition to the agency's ability to move forward. It is, one of the things about this tool is it's very simple and easy. It is very easy to implement and it's very easy to actually take uh, and uh, execute. First thing to do is just download it from our website and then undertake the assessment across the organization. There is a developing IM document within the tool which will help to assist the agency to improve any particular area that is being assessed. At the end of the assessment, we would uh, really appreciate sending the results to PROV so that we can actually find things and uh, report back to you in terms of how people are actually using the tool and the benefits of doing so. And one of the things that we've also recognized is that we will have to improve the tool over the time to ensure that we actually are making it valuable for both you and us ourselves in terms of understanding the information management capabilities across, the, across government. Um, we are also looking to release a new version before the end of the year to help in another range of in, in, initiatives within the, the tool to, to improve the coverage of information management. And lastly, we are looking to, in the early, in the new year, to actually um, set, set up some workshops to canvas your requirements or additional requirements and prioritize those for the release of a new version, um, version two, sometime in uh, 2016. So I'd like to say thank you for listening to uh, this particular information about the IM3. I'd really appreciate, I would really appreciate it if you would actually load the, the IM3 tool down from the, the website and give it a go. It has some really useful um, information. It has some really useful ways of helping you with the assessment of information management and any feedback that you would be willing to give us will be great, gratefully received. Thank you very much for your time.